Okay, we're here with the 2024 Lincoln East linebacker Dash Bauman, uh, 6'3", uh, verified today, 200 pounds, 32-inch vertical. Uh, obviously, one of the better players here in the city of Lincoln heading into the season. Just uh, speak on the year you had this past year, Dash. Yeah, uh, this past year, I mean, it was just a, another growth year for me. I think I came in my sophomore year and played and kind of like getting used to it. And I think this last year was just a, like just another step towards my uh, – growth and development I'm really excited for my senior year to keep on growing on that yeah and you know you've played the edge but now you're more of a true linebacker mm -hmm. um, how do you really excel at that position um, I think it's just I think one thing that I do really well is just reading reading the offense and knowing what to do and where to go and that kind of helps me to help my teammates and to flow to the ball and make tackles uh -huh. what um now you've had a lot of teams recruiting you um, who are the main players right now um I think I've talked to Wyoming quite a bit. They're kind of one of the first schools to reach out to me, and uh, they're one who's kept in good contact with me. Um, and also I just visited South Dakota and South Dakota State. Uh, I liked both of those schools a lot. And they're all talking linebacker? Yeah, linebacker for all of those. Uh -huh. where, um, as far as where you want to grow, like what's the biggest area you want to grow in this offseason? Um, I'd say my biggest – I want to keep continue to get stronger and faster – to be able to maybe put on some more weight and get a little just heavier so I can make more plays on the field. Yeah, you've got great football numbers here, but your track numbers. Um, so you're a 14.69 in the 110 mm -hmm. and a 39.39 in the 300. Yeah. Where, where do you rank, like, in the Class A ranks going in, and how would you do last year? Um, so last year for the 110 hurdles, I finished second in state. Uh, in the 300s, I finished third. So I've, I'm pretty excited going into this track season. I think I can really, really excel in the, especially the 110s. I've kind of been working on it this off season, so I think it can turn out pretty well for me. Caden Chedock from Lincoln East, a six foot four, um, around 220 pound DN tight end. Uh, first of all, Caden, talk about the season you had. Um, yeah, I kind of came out of nowhere. First main varsity season, especially playing DN. A lot of fun playing under Coach Gang and Coach Trowbridge, just coming in as our new D coordinator. A lot of fun really getting to use my athleticism on DN and obviously having a really good season. Yeah, you had eight sacks, 15 tackles for a loss. That was all last year. Yes, sir. So you were one of the leaders in the state probably in those categories. Yes, um, sir. How were you able to get to the quarterback? Was it just straight bull rushes, speed moves, hand technique? I mean, describe your pass rush. A lot of speed ahead. moves, using my speed over the tackles and really just bending, using my athleticism. So do you see yourself as a more of a – like a defensive lineman or more of an edge guy? I'd say more of, as, more of as an edge guy, uh -huh. just with my size and maybe grow into more of a D lineman, but as of now, kind of an edge guy. Yeah, that length at 6'4", I mean, obviously you're getting some attention. Uh, what teams have you heard from? Um, heard from this last week, I actually went to South Dakota State in South Dakota. Then the week before, I went to Northern Iowa, and I have North Dakota, Wyoming, and Northern Illinois plans so far for junior days and what are they telling you i mean like what's the next step to get that first offer uh next step is definitely coming out to a spring practice and camps in summer especially and just kind of see how i fit with the coaches and fit with the team especially 2025 um, lincoln east quarterback jeter wordley but also uh, a michigan wolverine baseball recruit um, but a standout quarterback first of all speak on what you did for lincoln east as a quarterback this past year so obviously i came into the season the expectation was kind of just ease into the varsity level, catch up with the speed of it. And the first game actually didn't start. I came in the second half when we were down, I think, 6 nothing at half. And then I just kind of took over from there, took over the rest of the season. And, I mean, experience-wise, it went really well. Like, like I said, I mean, I kind of felt like I got comfortable in the position that I was at. We had a lot of weapons on the outside that I felt I had a good relationship with. And um, so I just felt like I got better throughout the season, got more comfortable throughout the season. And... Um, really excited for what's coming up in my next two years. Yeah, have you always been a quarterback? Uh, I actually haven't. I, my first year was in eighth grade. I took over at quarterback. I was always a running back early on. And then um, from baseball perspective, I was always able to throw well. So it kind of just it was an experiment in my eighth grade year, and I did really well at it. So I just kind of stuck through with it. And freshman year, played on the freshman team, got sent up to varsity to be kind of the backup, just uh, watch Noah Walters and how he was because, I mean, he was amazing. And I learned a lot from him and just, like I said, I mean, stayed from that. And, you know, there's a group of young baseball players in this area between Lincoln and Norris. A lot of you guys have gotten 
early commitment opportunities. What led to you committing to Michigan so early in baseball? It was always my dream school. Like, I mean, I was always a Michigan fan growing up. So, I mean, when the opportunity came, it was, you know, I felt like it was the right decision. I mean, I was never always a big guy in, like, rushing the decision because, I mean, it's huge, you know, spending your four years of college. I mean, that's a big decision you have to make. So, obviously, I felt it was where I wanted to be. And, I mean, the coaches, original coaching staff I committed to left, so I'm still building a relationship with the new ones right now, and it's going well so far. Now, I see your area code 785. Are you originally from Nebraska? Or I'm not. You, I, moved, you... I moved here from Sabetha, Kansas. Sabetha, Kansas. Yeah, my eighth grade year. So, so what, how'd that all play out? It was more just for bigger opportunity because it was a small town, uh, 1,500 people. And, I mean, it was a great community. Wow. Like, I'm, I can I miss it some, sometimes. But overall, I mean, we moved here for better opportunity, and it's worked out so far. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, so do you have you know, Michigan baseball, like, they had a coaching change, but everything's still the same with you with the Wolverines right now? Yeah. Yes, sir. They what, are. Um, how often do you go to Ann Arbor? I've been there three times. So we, our most recent time was during the Nebraska football game. We went up there and met with the coaches, talked with them a little bit. Walked around the campus some and then watched the game, obviously. And it was a great experience again. Just loved it up there and felt like home. When for football, obviously, you're looking at football as a prospect opportunity. What would it take to kind of change you to want to do football in college from baseball? Um, just see how everything plays or out. Or both. With, yeah, I mean, if the, that opportunity comes, obviously, it's, again, a big decision I'd have to make. Um, that'd be ideal, probably. You know, see if I could get an opportunity for both. But ultimately, I mean, it's just – I. Uh, really excelled in baseball early on and right now like the football is just slowly starting to get better and better so I'm kind of starting to see like progress I'm making there so I mean just all kind of depends on where I'm at come my junior and senior year see where I'm at from a football perspective to see if you know I get opportunities to play there.